Hey everybody, uh, I'm Ben from Internachi, and we do uh, free live online interactive webinars uh, all the time on Nachi TV and the URL address is N-A-C-H-I dot TV. And when you get there, you see an old TV with the old TV antennas. I'm old enough to know what those are. Um, and we do free live classes for home inspectors. Uh, everything from business and marketing strategies to how to perform technically a home inspection to special guests like today. We Today we have Peter Faller from EcoSense and we're going to talk about a new value priced radon detector for home inspectors um, in just a couple of minutes because while I have you, let me take you to some news about what's coming up next year. And if my website gets up. So we have another national home inspector convention. We call it the Internet 2020 Professional Home Inspectors Convention. And it's in Ontario, California, not Ontario, Canada, Ontario, California. And where's Ontario, California? Well, that's Southern California, kind of, a um, little bit east of LA. Um, and I can't wait to go there because I'm gonna spend a little time before and a little after. I wanna get some food trucks. Uh, in LA, I want to see the beach um, and do a couple other things. Down there, there's that Disney something down there, and there's uh, Six Flags. And so we're having a, another convention, um, and it's going to be a really amazing. Um, this time, we have uh, – last time, it was more like a family carnival kind of event, uh, really good education um, at a fairgrounds. It was really a lot of fun, very different. This one is at a, um, a huge – big conventional convention. Uh, it's a huge convention center. Uh, it can hold about three to 4,000 people. And so we're going to really, um, we're going to have a great time. Uh, and there's a lot of home inspectors in California. And Ontario is an international airport. And so you, no matter where you are, you're, you're somewhere uh, near a, a good connecting flight. So that's Ontario, uh, California, that's October 15th to the 17th and 2020. Um, we're, we're doing a big um, opening night reception, feeding everybody breakfast and lunch every day. And it's gonna be a, a lot of fun. And there's so many other things going on in Southern California um, that we're just gonna have a lot of fun for many days. So save the date. That's October 15th to the 17th, 2020. That's Internachi's Professional Inspectors Convention. And I hope to see you there. I'm gonna be there. And um, maybe Peter will be there. So um, Peter is going to present today on Natchi TV for us home inspectors. Um, and it's all about a new type of radon detector for home inspectors. Is that right, Peter? That's right. Yes. Good morning, everyone. Well, I gave you the, the controls so you can share your screen and I see your slideshow. Okay, excellent. Uh, let me uh, go ahead and do that and call up the presentation. Perfect. And we hope everybody can see this. Yep. Great. Okay, well, it's my pleasure today to, uh, to speak with you all about uh, our new radon detector. Uh, many of you are probably familiar with the uh, uh, Radon Eye Pro uh, that uh, has been on Amazon, uh, marketed by FT Lab of Republic of Korea. Uh, in this year, we decided that uh, we needed a, a more organized presence here in the country. Uh, so EcoSense has been uh, set up as an independent U.S. subsidiary of FT Lab. Uh, Insu Park is uh, CEO. I'll give you his coordinates as we progress. And I'm a uh, uh, founding member of the board of directors and uh, very, very happy to be here with you guys. Okay, so this is what we're going to be talking about. This is the Radon Eye Pro, which is specifically engineered for use by home inspectors and professional radon inspectors. Uh, what's exciting about it is it's, uh, it's phone-based, but is also uh, Wi-Fi enabled uh, so that uh, uh, reports can be generated both from your phone and from your desktop, and all uh, controls on site can be uh, accomplished uh, through your phone via Bluetooth. And then there's a uh, very easy report generation uh, at, uh, at the back end of the inspections. So again, uh, here's the uh, uh, information on, 
uh, the new company. You will see we have a website up and we invite you uh, to go there and uh, take a look at that. Uh, but again, basically our logic is that uh, we felt to properly enter the US, we needed uh, local uh, representation, but also local software development uh, to make things especially easy to use. FT Lab has been around Radon for a very long time. Uh, the company started in uh, 2001, uh, working on uh, research grade equipment uh, in the area of electrophysics, progressed into plasma power sources for semiconductor manufacturing, then resistance, inductance, and capacitance measurement, and got into specific uh, radon measurement in uh, uh, 2012, uh, leading to the uh, uh, consumer product, uh, the radon eye. Uh, about 30,000 units of this have been sold in Korea, so it's quite a, a successful product over there. And about, uh, I understand about 7,000 via the uh, Amazon channel. So I expect a number of you are quite familiar with it. Here's the website information. Uh, please take a look and you'll be able to find there uh, uh, a software tour that'll show you just how easy it is to work with the Radon Eye Pro and how to perform uh, the operations that uh, I'll be taking you through uh, today. Just some background on radon uh, very, very quickly for those of you that aren't uh, familiar. Let me go through what it is, how it enters homes, uh, why the concern and uh, where it's generally found. And then an overview of um, the many measurement technologies and, and why we selected the approach that we did. So radon is a natural decay product of uh, uranium present everywhere. Uh, the half-life going through this very lengthy decay cycle is uh, 4 billion years, but once in the chain it gets to radon, uh, there are some very short half-life uh, isotopes that will kick off uh, alpha and beta particles. And these can be uh, high energy enough to be dangerous. Uh, radon uh, seeps into homes through cracks in foundations, uh, gaps in fittings, gaps around sumps, about 10% maybe uh, comes through uh, well water if you're on a well water system. And this is why uh, it's important that if radon is found that uh, uh, mitigators uh, tighten things up and uh, employ uh, slab, slab ventilation. Radon is thought to cause about uh, 21,000 lung cancer deaths in the US. Uh, uh, automotive accidents cause about uh, 35,000 or so these days. Uh, obviously, uh, we paid a lot of attention to that, but uh, the radon problem tends to slip a little bit under the radar, but, uh, uh, but is, is right up there in uh, causes of lung cancer. In fact, it's, it's number two. The geology of the U.S. is such that uh, radon is found uh, in the upper Midwest, in the purple areas on this chart here, uh, through the Rockies and Alleghenies, uh, up into New England. Uh, so it's fairly well known where one finds it. And uh, therefore, uh, legislation has been evolving uh, relatively slowly, but uh, there's some reference that, uh, references I give here at the bottom uh, that would help you look up what the status is in your state and what the current uh, uh, state of play is. So uh, here I just want to review the different approaches to radon measurement. There's passive measurements and then there's active measurements. The active ones are powered, the passive ones are unpowered. So you may be familiar with the uh, plastic track detectors for alpha particles. Uh, these are sent out to a lab after a period of time for counting. Uh, generally they're left in place uh, several months. Uh, there's also an approach using uh, charcoal and uh, uh, these are also sent out to laboratories to count by liquid scintillation. And there's uh, electret, the technology based on uh, permanently charged uh, PTFE, uh, Teflon. And uh, these lose voltage after they're exposed to radon over a certain period of time. All nice technologies, low cost, but uh, takes time to get the results. Uh, powered approaches use liquid scintillation, uh, there are uh, consumer semiconductor-based uh, devices out there, and then uh, ion chambers, uh, which is the approach that uh, we chose because it can be extremely fast uh, when done with the methods that we use. 
So here's a look at uh, the product lineup. It, uh, it all started from the uh, ion chamber that you see in, in the upper uh, left-hand corner. And this ion chamber uh, first made it into uh, the RD200 consumer product that you see on the lower right. It's also available for use for industrial uh, ventilation manufacturers as well. But again, what we want to focus on today is the Radon Eye Pro. Um, so taking a closer look at the device, uh, here you see uh, how it uh, can report on your phone. Uh, it uh, allows for near real-time management of your client data, uh, gives you remote access to the de devices, and uh, through your phone, you can control uh, a multiplicity of devices, uh, 10 in fact, uh, which uh, you could have several around the different homes that uh, you might be inspecting at the same time. And the reason for that would be to cover a home more thoroughly. Um, showing that in the next slide, uh, here you see a little sketch of a home. You could have the device in several rooms uh, reporting through a Wi-Fi gateway uh, up to uh, your phone and or your back end in, uh, in your office. And from that, uh, you can generate uh, reports. Also, you can modify inspections. There's an accelerometer in the device. So if um, the device is moved or perturbed, uh, or for instance, you see uh, an anomaly in the data, possibly due to a window being opened, uh, you can restart an inspection without going back to the site. Peter, so yeah. I, I don't want this point to go over uh, so easily. So this is an amazing thing. I have an app on my phone and I'm doing inspections and I can monitor all of my radon tests that I have deployed in homes. Yes, we think it's very cool. This, this yeah. is revolutionary. That's really amazing. Cause you know, I was a radon, I was a radon tester for a dozen years, you know, and when you deploy them, you have no idea what's going on. Uh, somebody may be very clever and moving them and changing the housing conditions and doing who knows whatever, but you can actually monitor almost live time, all of your detectors, while you're eating lunch in your truck. Yeah, That's amazing. yeah. Awesome. No, it's, uh, it, it's very well thought out, uh, especially now that uh, we're taking the uh, Korean technology and uh, US uh, friendly software, I think it's gonna make a really nice package uh, for the inspection community. The slide I have up now shows that the device is faster to give first results than uh, other uh, consumer uh, active approaches. Uh, we can get uh, data starting uh, every 10 minutes, getting to within uh, one hour, uh, very, very close to a, uh, uh, a true value of what your current radon is. Um, this is uh, very exciting because what you can do is move the device around if you, if you so choose or run multiple devices and uh, use it as a, a, a effectively a sniffer until you find uh, the room that you think might be the source of the most radon in the home and then set up to monitor that. So the speed is a huge advantage. The uh, accuracy is, uh, is fairly amazing too. Uh, here's some data that was taken at Gimpo University in Korea a couple of years ago uh, using our device and it maps right on top of uh, the RAD7 uh, from Durage, which is a real benchmark used in the industry, been around a long time. Uh, at a price point about an order of magnitude higher uh, than uh, where we're uh, uh, pricing the Radon Eye Pro. So very, very accurate. I don't expect you to read any of this, but uh, the University of Michigan did a similar study and you might just be able to make out in the plots here that uh, again, uh, our ion chamber technology mapped right on top of uh, research grade equipment. Uh, surprising to all, but um, um, an amazing result. So with this, uh, we have become uh, NRPP certified. Uh, our devices were uh, placed in an ion chamber and uh, were, again, uh, compared to research grade equipment and that resulted in uh, our uh, certification. Here's a, a review of some specs. Again, I'll just go over uh, quickly some interesting things, not all of it, uh, but uh, what is really exciting here is the, uh, uh, the count rate. Uh, we are able to uh, count 
uh, uh, 30 counts per hour per uh, uh, one picoliter per uh, um, yeah one, one uh, picocuri per liter. Uh, this is a very very sensitive rate, and this is what allows the uh, speed of the device. Uh, we are about 10% accurate, which is uh, as good as uh, you're going to be finding. Uh, we're able to store uh, data for uh, 10 inspections of 10 days each and or in continuous mode, almost a year worth of data uh, stored locally within the device. It's uh, set up to be uh, powered by uh, 110, but we also have a battery option. Uh, so that uh, uh, this will make things easier for you folks. The display uh, cycles through current radon measurements updated every 10 minutes, keeps track of the peak that it experiences, tells you temperature and humidity, and then gives you some uh, rolling averages over 24 hours, 48 hours, three days, and seven days, and again has that accelerometer that gives you an alarm if the device is moved during an inspection period. Just a summary at this point, the advantages of the low cost, speed and connectivity. Uh, we believe this will lead to faster inspections, more accurate inspections, uh, encompassing perhaps multiple rooms. Uh, this means greater likelihood of source identification, uh, simultaneous inspection of different properties that could be miles apart. Uh, and we have this consumer version, which can be left as uh, a loaner device or used as an upsell after inspections or re remediation projects that will show uh, your customers that a remediation has been successful or give them some confidence in the, uh, uh, the results that you presented to them. So the device now, uh, priced at uh, just under $800, inclusive of uh, uh, power carrying case, manual, uh, it can be ordered through our website. Uh, the lithium battery is uh, to be ordered from a separate vendor. Uh, we just don't want to get into the issues of lithium battery uh, shipment. So we're going to leave that uh, to the folks that really know what they're doing there. So at this point, uh, let me introduce a video tour of the product and the software. Uh, what sure. you will see is the registration and setup procedure through your Android or iOS smartphone linking to Wi-Fi, uh, setting it up for a time inspection, setting it up for continuous mode, uh, managing multiple inspections, and showing you uh, the generation of reports. Just a few introductory screens before we do this video. Uh, this shows that um, uh, you can set up for an inspection going through only uh, four steps, and you very quickly get to a screen that uh, begins to track and plot. You have the option of uh, monitoring over a fixed period of time or setting up for continuous. On the mobile device, this would be the format of the uh, uh, inspections that you'd be able to show a client from your phone. Again, uh, showing nice graphics and averaging. Here we show the desktop view of um, how reports are generated. And this shows that uh, in the desktop version, we can even reference a, a mapping of where the property is. The mapping's interesting because uh, uh, once we accumulate uh, data from uh, uh, numerous devices in the field, we can begin to plot that on uh, a map of uh, the country that's granular down to your cities and neighborhoods. In this uh, screen here, I show that uh, multiple reports can be managed uh, from your uh, desktop. Just a view of the start of our mapping service. And let's go, let's play the video. So bear with me while I switch over, please. No problem, no problem. And I just wanna remind everybody that you can ask Peter um, any question. If you're live attending the webinar, you have a little chat box at the bottom right corner of your screen, likely. And if you're live Facebook, um, you can ask questions there. Okay, so just about a five minute video and then we'll wrap up. And here it comes. Thank you. 
Great. Okay, very good. That's a good video. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Appreciate that. We do have some questions. Okay. Uh, why don't um, let's see if I can get back to the PowerPoint. I'll just wrap up. Um, sure. Very very quickly here. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So just wrapping up uh, again, the uh, the pro version just under uh, uh, 800, uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, multiple location capability, and inspection ready software. Uh, we also have the uh, consumer version at a very attractive price of uh, 149. Uh, this is just Bluetooth communication, local communication, uh, and uh, has its own data logging internal. Uh, Good product using the uh, the same ion chamber as in the pro model, so it's the same accuracy, same speed, nothing compromised. So in conclusion, we're fast, accurate, certified, low cost. Uh, hopefully, you're going to agree it's uh, Apple-like intuitive software. Uh, we generate reports for you, and uh, we're designed such that multiple units can be run from your phone, 10 units. So we think this is going to help you grow your business. Okay, uh, thanks a lot. And with that, Ben, uh, questions, please. Wonderful. And um, maybe uh, at the end of our questions, I have a few here um, from the Good Webinar system. Uh, maybe you could show, uh, maybe you could comment about any type of uh, discount or special offer for Internet Team members. I always ask that for, uh, <laughs> I always bend the arm of our vendors. Um, but we do have a, qu a couple of questions, a couple of them. Um, and let's see if you can answer them. If you can't answer them, you certainly can contact Peter uh, directly through uh, the EcoSense website. Christine asks, um, Wi-Fi would need to be available in the home being tested, correct? Is that a requirement, Peter? You had to have to have Wi-Fi? Uh, yes, if you want to use it uh, in the Wi-Fi mode rather than local Bluetooth, uh, yes. So that uh, could require the homeowner's cooperation or you could bring a hotspot device with you, which uh, which we can recommend. Okay. And um, so you, I guess you could deploy your your systems, uh, your radon uh, tester or testers um, at the site um, without Wi-Fi. They could just run, and you just won't be able to connect as you drive away, right? Uh, yes, that, that's correct. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. So you can still yeah. do radon tests. Um, yeah. Does your report meet the hmm, Minnesota Department of Health requirements? I'm unfamiliar with that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was just at uh, uh, the ARST meeting uh, just this week, and uh, it's just amazing how different state-by-state uh, -state situations are. 
so we're going to have to be looking into uh, all of this as our company uh, grows and progresses. So I can't answer that question specifically, but uh, if anyone can help us uh, with such information, uh, we welcome any and all assistance. Great, appreciate that. Um, can you discuss the difference, I think you already did, just briefly, the difference between the Radon i Pro 200P and the Radon i RD 200 for homeowners? Yes, yes. Basically, it's a, a difference in um, uh, communications. Uh, the uh, the Pro model has uh, uh, the uh, Wi-Fi, uh, so we're able to do much more with uh, remote control of the device. Uh, the uh, ion chamber is the same, so the quality of the measurements is the same. It's it's really just communications protocols, and then the software that uh, we have available, uh, given uh, the Wi-Fi capability. So, uh, for instance, uh, some of the uh, uh, differences would be uh, setting up for timed inspections and uh, automatic stops of timed inspections. So basically, you've really, with the uh, uh, consumer model, just got a, uh, a very nice data logger, does a good job, but uh, limited in its purpose. Yep. Um, Corey asked the same uh, similar question, does there need to be Wi-Fi connection in the house? Um, uh, it's ideally uh, so you can manage the devices, um, but you don't. You can just deploy them. Um, yeah. And you don't need Wi-Fi to use them. Ideally, and again, we can recommend uh, uh, hotspots. Yeah. Um, Christine asks if testing multiple homes simultaneously, we need to invest in multiple units. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yes. Well, we think that's uh, that's uh, not a bad thing, and uh, I think we're. Uh, uh, priced attractively such that uh, such that that can be done. I agree. Uh, yeah. Um, James, in New York, radon equipment is required to have proof of annual calibration. Now, how is that done? Yes, uh, we have a relationship with Bowser uh, Morner uh, for uh, calibration of these devices. Uh, so uh, they are standing by at uh, an attractive price. We negotiated with them. Sweet. Sweet, they're huge, I, I, they've been around forever. Um, okay, so maybe you can, let's see, what is the, where do we go for uh, more information? Again, Peter, it's ecosense.io. Uh, ecosense.io, and you'll be able to see uh, the video that uh, I just played as well. And you can order uh, right off that site if you're so inclined. And you can always uh, get in touch uh, with, with uh, me. Um, or uh, in Sioux Park, and we have several other people uh, standing by uh, all the way back in Korea to answer uh, the most difficult questions. Wonderful. Well, we're um, all full with our questions over here. Is there any uh, parting words for us, Peter, before we um, say goodbye? Okay. Well, I'd, I'd just sum up by saying I, I think we've got uh, something that everyone's going to find uh, very attractive. I think we can uh, help you uh, grow your businesses and uh, Hopefully, we're going to make your lives easier. Great. Well, Peter, uh, thanks for taking um, time out of your busy schedule to be with us and, and show us your amazing, I, I think it's a, an amazing new device um, that's on the market. So I appreciate all your hard work and helping us inspectors um, diversify our services and provide really good services that we can, we can use for our, our businesses. Appreciate it very much. Thanks, Peter. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Ben. See bye -bye. you next time. Bye.